how do the words in a sentence fit together? Are they more like the line of beads in a bracelet? Or like the dangly groups in a mobile? The bracelet model means that each bead or word only comes in contact with the beads or words next to it, whereas in a mobile, the words are put together in subgroups. But what about the words in a sentence? It's pretty clear that the order is important somehow. After all, if you scramble the words around, you don't necessarily get a good sentence, just like yellow, blue, green, green, red is a different bracelet pattern. But is every type of way you could reorder the words essentially equivalent, or are there certain reorderings that have a bigger effect than others? With a mobile like you'd hang over a baby's crib, we can have some words that combine with others first before combining into bigger and bigger groups. How could we figure out whether sentences are more like a bracelet or a mobile? That is, is it just the linear order that's important? Or are there subgroups that are important too? Let's look at what happens when we make questions. So here's our same example sentence. We can make this into a couple different questions. Here's one question, or here's another question, and here's a third. Let's go back to that first question. So this is pretty similar to this. If linear order is what matters, maybe we can make a question by swapping the first word and the second word in any sentence. What if we replace Ingrid with the astronaut? Now let's swap the first and second word. Yeah, no. So we could make a more specific rule that says when you have will, you make a question by putting it at the beginning of the sentence. And that works pretty well so far. But when we have something more complicated, like who I will meet tomorrow, this rule doesn't work so well anymore. If I move the first will up to make a question, we get this, which is just terrible. Whereas what I really want to do is move the second will up. We could start specifying more and more conditions in the linear bracelet order, but let's take a break and look at structures more like this diagram. Maybe we can use the groups in a mobile type structure to help us organize the information that we care about here. Let's go back to that longer sentence. We need to figure out a way to represent the difference between the first will and the second will. It's not going to work to just say, move the second will, because we can also make a sentence that looks like this, where will number two has become will number one and vice versa. And what we really want to do is move this will and not this one. But that does give us a clue. In both cases, we want to move the will that's before see rather than the will that's before meet. Is it something about the verb see? No, because if we swap the verbs, we still need to move this will and not this will. So what's the difference between these two places where we have will? Let's talk about who's doing what, so we can group those words together in our mobile. Who's doing the seeing? The astronaut. What's the action? We'll see. Who's being seen? The Martian, who I'll meet tomorrow. We can also split up that last part under the same node. So what does this give us? We can see a clear difference between the will that's up here that connects to the main branch, and that's the one we can move. Whereas the will that's down here, if we move it, that's the one that sounds weird. And look, now we've made our sentence into a mobile. It might not win any art prizes anytime soon, but it does help us understand something about how the words in the sentence are related to each other. And the thing that our mobile really helps us with is if we take who I'll meet tomorrow and move it to be by the astronaut. We now see very clearly that the will that we want to move is the one that attaches to the main spine, and not the one that's attached lower down. And we can really see this if we add in another clause, like, who I will hug next week. So now we have not one, not two, but three wills. Which one do we move? No to will one, yes to will two, and no to will three. In other words, we don't move the lower down wills, only the will that's attached to the main structure. What have we learned? Linear order is kind of important, because otherwise, how would you know where to move the will to? But what's also really important is this relationship that the words have with each other in groups. And we can't just count the words to figure out what these relationships are. Instead, we can ask ourselves questions like, who's doing the action and who's the action being done to? and we can write this information down in a shape like a mobile that shows us pretty clearly which will is which.